In this video, we explain how to care for soft shell turtles and give uh, a basic explanation of a proper setup in the first half of the video. And in the second half of the video, we go over things you should not do with a soft shell turtle. A soft shell turtle is a very sensitive turtle to keep, and you should think twice before buying one. Welcome to Evans Reptiles Episode 1, the YouTube series. Now, I do this a lot on Instagram, but this is my first YouTube video. This is my soft shell turtle setup. This is a spiny soft shell turtle setup, but this applies for basically any soft shell turtle. Um, yeah, there he is. Did you see his little head poking out? That's awesome. I'll add more stock footage of him at the end of the video as well, just doing things such as feeding and all sorts of other stuff. He's a bit, um, he's a bit timid. And I wouldn't really consider him a pet. I'd consider him an animal. They're not something that you touch or play with or bring out. Now, um, you can see he's buried himself completely in the sand. You cannot see his shell shape. You cannot see anything whatsoever. Now, if you can see the outline of his shell in the sand that he's buried in, he's probably he probably does not have deep enough sand. You're going to want to keep these soft shell turtles in um, riverbed sand that is definitely two to three times as thick as their shell. You, they want to be able to completely, completely bury themselves. Now, you, uh, you can buy this on Amazon for $20 for 10 pounds of it. This is 20 pounds of it in a 3 foot long by 2 foot wide turtle tub. This is a Zoomed turtle tub kit. The Zoomed Turtle Tub Kit is available for $250, I believe. It comes with an absurd amount of stuff. Uh, my only tip with that is you might want to replace this filter after the first year. I've, I've heard uh, on other reviews that it's not so great. Uh, also, you're going to want to keep your uh, riverbed sand very clean. You're going to want to rinse that out a lot when you first get it in the mail. And then um, you're going to want to keep it away from your filter head. Another thing... You're probably not going to want to use the substrate that comes for the basking area with the, the Zoomed Turtle Tub Kit. You can buy just the tub or you can buy the entire kit. It comes with this nice light fixture as well. Uh, you can see back here we have a gray tree frog. He's looking at the... I keep my crickets right here so he's just staring at the crickets. Hilarious. Sometimes I'll put the... Uh, I'll turn this light around and then I'll open that and let the crickets bask for a little while during the day and then he'll just jump in there and devour some of them be because I won't think about him because he, he is nocturnal but he he's up sometimes he's he likes to do stuff he's really tame he's a lot more tame than most of my pets I can hand feed him if I want to but uh, this is more about the <laughs> the soft shell turtle now they will feel a lot more safe if they can fully bury themselves and this is also essential to their shedding now if you don't have the proper substrate the turtle will not be able to properly shed they need to be able to fully bury themselves because they um they don't just like lose their scoots because their 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 skin you know here let me pull them out of the sand here for a moment um they need to rub off on the sand so that they can literally um use it like sandpaper <laughs> here he is he's got quite a bit of it on him but let's just shower him off here with the filter <laughs> Now, he didn't have deep enough sand before, so you can see on his back where's that where there's that little black area. It's a little discolored on his back, but it's already gone down uh, in, a, in a week tremendously. All that that is is some dead skin that will be rubbed off by the sand. I just added another 10 pounds of sand recently because when I got him, he was very, very small. Here, I'll just set him in his basking area. Now you can see he can easily get up into his basking area with this mesh that I added here. They also have a these like steps on the turtle tub that help a lot as well but I put in this is like an iguana basking like a hammock like a, a repti hammock I believe you can cut these up and use them for your turtles to get in and out of the water these tubs work for every kind of turtle pretty much uh, you can set these up as land setups or you can set them up as aquatic turtle setups they're really great actually I love the I love the shape and for housing an aquatic turtle this is a lot better than a glass tank because a glass tank they'll just be hitting this constantly. This is, feels like a pond to them, to where a glass tank, they feel like they should be able to swim out of it. Um, here I just have um, 
a terrarium project. I'm going to be growing plants in an enclosed jar. But what I feed him is reptamin pellets, of course. Everybody feeds these. Some red shrimp. Some aquatic turtle food. And then I had another mixed diet that is sold at Walmart, but I, uh... I lost it, or I, I used it all. This comes with the turtle tub, actually. You can order more of these online. You can, you should definitely um, be supplementing every couple of days, too. Not every couple of days, but um, definitely get yourself a, a weekly pattern down or a bi-weekly pattern down for supplementing. You should also be supplementing with um, supplements other than just calcium. This is all that I have at the moment, but um, I need to restock on a lot of my supplies. I had another mixed diet for him that I that I was feeding him, but he, he ate most of it. I want to get more uh, actual plants for around this too, to, just to make it look more um, immersive and uh, enclosed. I like how I use this wood to kind of hide the filter because standing up in my room, this is more so what my closet looks like. And then up here I just have my uh, this other stuff, like other products. It called, the turtle tub kit also came with this uh, calcium turtle bone came with some other stuff too. These are uh, products that I just feed the fish. I have other products in my other room as well. This is just one of my setups. I also use uh, Pleco wafers because I have a Pleco in here. They seem to get along pretty well. Now your soft shell turtle should not be kept in multiples. You could probably house another turtle in here because there is enough space and he is only two or three years old, but this is not his max size. He will eventually probably need an upgraded uh, tub. He'll probably need an even bigger tub over time because soft shell turtles grow very large. A lot of people don't understand that they grow the size of snapping turtles. Their shell has a very wide diameter. Now I think I have a male. Uh, you can correct me if, in the comments if I'm wrong, but judging by the pattern, this is a spiny soft shell and he appears to be a male and he hasn't grown too large. The females are a lot larger, so I, and I've seen larger turtles, so I would assume him to be a male, and I'm very happy with that because then I don't have to deal with eggs every spring and a lot of the problems that come with females. But um, definitely do not get a soft shell turtle if you're looking to get a new turtle as a pet. If you want to get a turtle as a pet, I would recommend a Diamondback Terrapin because they seem to uh, be very intelligent they, they house very easily with other turtles. They might show a little bit of aggression. Each turtle is different, but the red-eared slider, everybody has a red-eared slider. If you want something pretty, maybe a diamondback terrapin or something unique, you can find those on Facebook groups or from uh, breeders. You can get this kind of turtle from somewhere like the Turtle Source or something along those lines. Um, here's a business card for them. I definitely would not get a soft-shell turtle, though, because they're very hard to uh, take care of very hard to take care of but if you have a setup like this it, it can be simple definitely uh, do lots of water changes definitely uh, toss that sand around a little bit so it doesn't get gas build up in there that'll keep the the water quality good uh, I keep a journal here of mine my chicken scratch handwriting of when I feed and when I supplement and when I do water changes that's very important to take care of uh, and definitely have some foliage that your fish can uh, have fry in. Uh, I'm not completely sure if he eats these guppies, but I've definitely seen him eat feeder fish in the past. Uh, I'm sure he takes a chomp out of one every now and then, but um, definitely have somewhere that they can hide. The turtles and the fish love that. <laughs> Just drop the perch right in the fucking water. What are you going to do? But uh, I'll definitely have a lot more content like this on my channel soon. I have a thermometer over here. I'll have a lot more uh, reptile content soon. This guy's just like, feed me! I'll probably do that after this, but I'll leave some, some stock footage at the end of the video here now of just these guys living it up and other stuff from my Instagram. And one more tip. Definitely always, if you're not feeding your turtle in the same... Either feed your turtle in a separate bin or unplug your filter so that you don't suck up on all that unnecessary bullshit especially especially if you are um, supplementing calcium because you don't want all that junk getting into your filter now um, because I'm feeding the fish too I'll put a little bit of extra food in there I sometimes give them flake but they, they tend to like the turtle food a lot and I've, I've noticed it definitely makes the goldfish and other fish grow a lot quicker if you feed them things like pond pellets or turtle food but uh, they say to uh, every day or every other day add about the size of the turtle's head if you were using pellets. 
Um, I add just a little bit more sometimes because I've noticed the goldfish and the pocosimus and other things like to take a bite of them. You can see the, the guppies are already going to work on them, but um, the soft shell turtle is just hiding right now because we, we handled him in the previous clip. All right, here's a clip from my old aquarium. This is how I used to have the soft shell turtle set up when it was in an actual tank, but there are advantages to keeping it in a tub because if you keep them in a tank, they will... Uh, they're more likely to run their face into the glass and try to escape. They won't feel as safe. They won't feel as at home. And depending on the elevation of the tank and the room, it could implement a lot of stress onto your turtle. And it'll also prevent it from basking a lot. As it's If it's surrounded by four sides and can't see out of the tank, it will feel much more secure to bask. This is a video of me feeding it an earthworm. Uh, you can feed them a lot of other live food options aside from the pellets I showed in the previous clip. But he fucking just destroyed this. Uh, later in the video, we'll go over things that you shouldn't do with your soft shell turtle. And uh, ways that you should not have them set up. You can see I have this riverbed sand at the bottom of the tank. Another thing you should always make sure of is that they can completely dry themselves off. You can see that the turtle is a lot smaller in this clip. This clip was taken about a year ago. But um, you can see how the turtle's shell is folding up a little bit in this clip. Um, it's not rounded or, or flat like a dome. It's like curling upward, and that is unhealthy. That's because the turtle did not have an opportunity to completely dry itself off because it was in a tank, stressed out all the time, and unable to bask. Not that it didn't have a place to bask, but it just preferred to stay in the water where it felt safe. This caused the turtle to um, have its shell kind of bend upward from constant water pressure. I'm not sure exactly what causes this, but it can be reversed by drying your turtle off for several hours a day and then re-exposing it to the water. Um, I, I solved this issue. Also, the sand was not deep enough in this tank. We'll go over some other things that you should not do with your soft shell turtle. They're, they're very um, niche turtle. They require a very specific habitat. They, they like soft, sandy bottom rivers and lakes. But um, here on this next clip, we're about to go to it. This is an old aquarium that I had. And th this is a, a year before this clip now. This is two years ago. You can see the, the bong in the tank. This was originally just a fish tank, but um, I threw the turtle in when I first got the turtle as a hatchling, just as a temporary setup. This is something you should never, ever, ever keep a soft shell turtle in. Uh, the reason why I had it in here just was because it was temporary. You can see it had a place to fully dry itself. It would bask on that rock for a while. Um, it liked the shallow water area. It liked to swim around too, as you'll see in another clip. It, it was so small that a setup like this um, was all right to have, I guess, because it was so spacious. It had room to swim around, but with all the jagged and sharp things in there, you never want to have a, a soft shell turtle inside of something like that because it could very easily scratch or damage its skin, exposing it to infection and all sorts of other health problems. But you, here you can see its shell was a lot more domed than the previous clip because it was healthier at this time and able to escape the water more often than it did before because it was in a different position in the tank but now it's its shell is returned uh in this picture in this in this picture now its shell is restored now but in this in this picture here this is an example of something you should never ever keep a turtle in a uh, gravel bottom barely any good um, filtration, tons of uh, objects inside ornaments. You don't want to have anything like that with your turtle. This is not something I ever kept a turtle in, but this is an example of a fish tank, not a turtle tank. You don't. You need to have proper basking, proper um, places they can expose themselves like this. This is a, a much better setup for a soft shell turtle because it had the sandy bottom. It was very open. He, he had an area to bask, although you do need... Um, a place where it could fully dry itself off. You could see here the water level was just above the basking area. That's not something you want. And now in this um, picture, definitely do not ever keep betta fish or other fish that are um, like decoration fish or of any value to you with your soft shell turtle because they will uh, seemingly befriend them for a long period of time and then one day just chomp and eat them. Uh, I hope that I, this video gave you some insight on soft shell turtles.